everyone, today I have a quick tips guide to emojis and how to use them with dreams. You may be finding yourself in dreams and wanting a picture of something. You may be thinking to yourself, ah, there's an emoji of this on my phone. Can't I use that as a picture in dreams? Well, to answer you, my friend, yes, yes you can. First off, you want to get a text displayer. Go ahead and modify the displayer so the border, fill, and shadow is off. Next, over in the text input page, edit the text. First things first, how do we input emoji? Well, we start by using a semicolon. Next, we need to type the emoji code. You may be wondering what an emoji code is. Well, you can find the emoji code by using Discord. If you don't have a Discord, you can go to the link on screen now or in the description and use the CLDR short name for the emoji you want but inserting underscores where the spaces would be. In this video, I'm going to use Discord because it's easier to search for emojis. Now be warned that a good handful of emojis do not work. Let's finally get to it in Discord. First, go ahead and go to any chat screen. Next, you can either type a semicolon, then start typing to search, or you can click the emoji button and search from there. Once you find an emoji you want, you can either hover over it and read the emoji code, or click it and it will type the emoji code in the message box. Now heading back to dreams, we can put that code in the box. There's also a full list of dreams icons you can put in too. I put a link to that in the description. But with those codes, you need to use less than and greater than signs to encapsulate the words instead of semicolons. Once you put in the code, it should display in the game. However, you may at times wonder if you could crop the emoji, as it doesn't fit exactly how you want it. Well, if you brought back the fill, you could actually crop the emoji by turning off auto fit and using the alignment settings on the alignment page. Changing the size of the window will crop the emoji. However, this brings an annoying fill that negates the point of the crop. Turning off the fill removes the crop, and so does turning the opacity to zero. We could use 1% opacity, but that is still really noticeable, so there is a trick we can use that will make the game think there is a fill, but there really isn't. If we press L1 in square while hovering over the opacity slider, we can manually set the value. From there, set the value to 0.000001. This will effectively make it invisible while still being there. And that's how to place and crop emojis into your scene. However, there is one last thing that may be an issue for you, and that's the emoji or even text fading into the object it is resting on. This can be fixed by either making the text displayer always on top and turning on and off the text displayer with the trigger zone of where the player can see it, or you could slightly move the text displayer forward. I hope you all liked this quick video, I have another short one planned that should be coming soon. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day. Bye bye! Once again, I'd like to take this time to thank my patrons, Christian Sanchez, Darius Kalassen, Empty Chest, Mythic Marty, Patrick Keller, William Snyder, and Skylar Ruin. Once again, thank you all for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye!